The Predator, Everything You Need to Know. With three films, 1987's Predator, 1990's Predator 2 and 2010's Predators, and two hugely disappointing crossovers, Alien vs. Predator and Avp, Requiem in 2004 and 2007 respectively, already released, many thought the Predator franchise would need to begin from scratch if it was to continue. But fans of Alien Hunter Shredding Ripped Warriors were excited when news broke that Shane Black was working on a Predator sequel, not a reboot. The Iron Man 3 director says he did not see the need to completely revamp the 20th Century Fox sci-fi action franchise. As far as, writer Fred Decker, and I are concerned anyway, Black said. Why start over, when you've all this rich mythology yet to mine? The Predator is therefore a sequel set in the present day, which refers to the events of the originals. In the first trailer, we saw Tremblay's youngster playing with a control device that appears to cause the alien's vessel to crash land on Earth. That promo also gave us a glimpse of the Predator itself, in a few quick shots. I think they're attempting hybridization. They're upgrading on every planet they visit, we learned. 20th Century Fox's French Twitter account originally teased the second trailer, with a post that roughly translated as, It does not have a lucky mouth, but make an appointment tomorrow for the new trailer. Hash Predator. That second trailer gave us a better idea of what humanity is up against. And the evidence of that hybridization was seen on screen, as we said hello to the ultimate predator, which looks like it can kick a normal predator's ass, no problems. Production began on February 20, 2017, as confirmed by Black in a tweet. It wrapped on June 1, 2017, as shared in a tweet by 10-year-old Star Tremblay, who said it was time for me to hash get a copy. However, the film's release date has been changed numerous times, partly down to reshoots. The Predator was originally slated for a March 2nd opening in cinemas, before the date was actually pulled forward to an earlier February 9, 2018 release. That hope for an early release didn't last long though, as it was then pushed back to August 3, 2018. Black actually welcomed that delay, which meant he wasn't going head to head with Black Panther. In truth, I endorsed this entirely. It's a great thing, also, a bit of a relief not to open against Marvel's Black Panther in February, he tweeted. Since that film turned out to be a cinematic juggernaut, it was a wise move. The Predator was then pushed back even further to September 14, 2018, and will now open in UK cinemas on September 13, 2018. As noted above, the Predator reboot is directed by Iron Man 3's Shane Black. That seems entirely appropriate, as he has a long history with the franchise. At the same time that he was rewriting Warner Brothers' script for Lethal Weapon, Black asked producer Joel Silver for a small acting role in Predator, and while on set he made uncredited contributions to the script. Black played Hawkins, the first from Arnie's elite paramilitary team to die, but not before he fires off a bunch of rude jokes that Sonny Landham's Native American tracker doesn't understand. It's therefore no surprise to see a return to the filthy jokes of the original movie courtesy of Keegan-Michael Key in the Predator's second trailer. While talking about reshoots that took place, Key praised the director for being a consummate professional and writer, adding, he's a wordsmith. I think that he's still one of our most vibrant writers of cinema. The comedy element isn't a surprise, as Black told Digital Spy that it would be a fun movie, explaining, I think there's a tremendous mistake today in assuming that a movie has to choose one tone solely consistently throughout, and just stick to that tone? Deadpool continues to revolutionize the modern blockbuster as we know it, as Black's upcoming movie will also have an R rating. The director feels that fans don't want a PG-13 Predator. I made it a condition of directing the Predator that it has to be the same rating as the first one, which was R, Black said. We probably could have gotten more money to do it as PG-13. But I actually think that although that seems like a good logic, you're shooting yourself in the foot. I don't think the fans want a PG-13 Predator. Before Deadpool, everyone was saying exactly the opposite. It's only been recently that this sort of thing has become more palatable to the decision makers.
while we'd all like to see Arnold Schwarzenegger bellowing get to the chopper. One more time, the Austrian Oak revealed that he had turned down the chance to appear in the movie. They asked me, and I read it, and I didn't like it, whatever they offered, he explained. Except if there's a chance that they rewrite it, or make it a more significant role. But the way it is now, no, I won't do that. Arnie's refusal sees a whole new team being assembled to battle the killer alien. The first on-set photos showed many of the cast, among them Logan's Boyd Holbrook. His ex-Marine character Quinn McKenna leads a special forces unit on a search to find and kill the Predator, consider him the equivalent of Rick Flagg in Suicide Squad. Black then tweeted a photo previewing half of the crew, revealing some intriguing additions to the paramilitary unit. From left to right that showed Sterling K. Brown, Moonlight's Trevent Rhodes, Holbrook, Olivia Munn and Key, with rooms Jacob Tremblay and Black in front. A second photo then added to that cast lineup. From left to right, that showed Game of Thrones' Alfie Allen, Key, Marvel's former Punisher star Thomas Jane, newcomer Augusto Aguilera, as well as Holbrook and Rhodes on their way into battle. Although the film is being touted as a jumping on point for anyone new to the franchise, certain references to the mythology will place it after the first two movies and before 2010's Predators. The first plot details for the Predator were actually leaked by actor Thomas Jane, who teased that the updated story will center on a group of F. King Crazy veterans. We play these veterans from like Afghanistan, Iraq war or whatever, he said.